how to sleep less and have more energy. If you could wake up feeling refreshed and rejuvenated on less sleep, of course you would do that. Getting more sleep doesn't make you a better person. Getting better sleep makes you a better person. And when you think about the depths of that, that means if you could get better sleep so good in say only six hours a night, that you felt better than you do now on eight hours a night, wouldn't you do that? Instead of continuing to sleep eight hours a night, could you do something good with two hours a day? Here's what some of the most compelling research out there showed me. This was a study of 1.2 million people, and they looked at them for several years. What they discovered when they went back and analyzed the data was that the people who live the longest sleep six and a half hours a night. The people who sleep eight hours a night die of all cause mortality more frequently than those who sleep six and a half hours a night. People who sleep six hours a night were better off than people who slept eight hours a night. And if you sleep nine hours a night, your chances of dying are way higher. And 10 hours or lower, it actually gets worse. What's up with that? It's this crazy idea, are you ready? Healthy people need less sleep. So suddenly getting more sleep isn't the angle, being healthier, having a body that works better, having cells that work better, that's the, the key. In the Bulletproof Diet book, I wrote about this weird thing in the brain called the glymphatic system. Not lymphatic, but glymphatic. And we didn't know this until recently, but at night, your body pumps a cerebral spinal fluid into the brain and literally gives you a brainwashing. It washes out the toxic proteins in your brain, and when that happens, that's part of your sleep cycle. When you wake up, your brain is now detoxed. What guides that system, the glymphatic system? Well, it's mitochondria. Mitochondria are the power plants in your cells. They're how we make energy. Without mitochondria, you couldn't live. Your mitochondrial function is a measure of how efficient you are at converting food into energy. If you're efficient at that, if your mitochondria work really well, kind of like a well-tuned race car engine, well, then your glymphatic system will also work better because you can more efficiently pump the stuff into and out of your brain. So what do you do to make your mitochondria work better? That's gonna let you have more energy even if you're getting less sleep. Well, make your mitochondria sing. One of the easiest ways to do that is to have mild ketosis present in your body. I do that with Bulletproof Coffee. I use Brain Octane, which is a rare extract of coconut oil that increases the amount of ketones in your body so that your brain can run itself on fat or sugar at the same time. And when that happens, your mitochondria function differently. And this is well documented. Different parts of your mitochondria burn fat versus burn sugar. Another thing you do is you stabilize your blood sugar. And one of the simplest things you can do is you can stop exposing yourself to stuff that either ruins the quality of your sleep or stuff that ruins the quality of your mitochondria. There are lots of things like stress that you can manage to sleep better in less time and things like that, but I'm talking about biochemistry here. And one of the things you can do is you can eat less toxins. If you have things that cause inflammation, you'll sleep less effectively. If you have things that slow mitochondrial function, you'll sleep less effectively. If you have mercury or heavy metals in your body, you're not gonna sleep very effectively because your mitochondria are poisoned, they don't work as well. If you are regularly exposing yourself to chronic mold toxins, whether they're from the environment or whether it's from the foods you eat that are high in mold toxins, eat less toxins, absorb less toxins, smear less toxins on your skin, you'll get more efficient, more effective sleep. And if you wanna just directly ramp up your mitochondrial activity, there are a few things you can do. And here are some of the things that I do. I do unfair advantage. This is a formula that I made, perhaps the most important supplement, even more important than Brain Octane, because it makes it easier for your cells to make energy. It catalyzes the resynthesis of ATP. It makes it more effective. So your body has more energy. I do one of these before I go to sleep. I get better sleep. It's pretty amazing. And there isn't a study that says you'll get better sleep on this, but there's good science behind the compound in here that shows it makes your mitochondria work better. And I understand what good mitochondrial function does for all of the things I do, whether I'm awake or asleep. The better your mitochondria work, the lower your risk of all sorts of bad things, and the better your performance will be. So I do that to make my mitochondria work really well. I'm happy to take things that help me go to sleep. Sometimes I'll take an amino acid called GABA. Just about every night, one of the bulletproof recommendations is to take some magnesium before I go to sleep, that can help. You can take 
an amino acid called L-theanine that's very common and available in, in green tea, but green tea will wake you up. Decaffeinated green tea can work. Herbal tea can work. And for most people, that does it. If not, I'd invite you to check out some of the content on sleep hacking, where I list every single herb and compound that will help you sleep better. And there are a bunch of other hacks you can do. If you sleep in a blacked out room that's at 68 degrees Fahrenheit or lower, you are going to be amazed at the quality of the sleep you get. The higher the quality, the lower the quantity that's required. And if your body tells you in a perfect sleep environment when you've done all the things right that you still need eight hours of sleep, that's okay. Another thing that really changes sleep for some people is this stuff. It's brain octane oil. You take a little bit of it before bed, a couple teaspoons, start really slow, you can work up to that. And what you're likely to feel is more energy when you're sleeping, but it's not energy from sugar the way you're used to it. It's a kind of energy that just makes you not want food. A lot of people wake up in the middle of the night because they ran out of blood sugar and the body's like, it's an emergency. I got no fuel to do my glymphatic cleaning. Somebody feed me. And having a little bit of this before you go to sleep can make a huge difference. And there's another group of people who respond really, really well to collagen protein. And I make upgraded collagen, which is from grass-fed cows. It's pre-digested so your body can get all the collagen peptides. Collagen's a building block, but for some people, it's really calming before sleep. Other people are like, I just have scrambled eggs before I go to sleep. And different proteins have a different effect on the body, just like different fats have different effects on the body. It's not okay to say, have protein or have fat. Well, which fat and which protein really matters, especially when you're hacking your sleep. There's another group of people who do incredibly well on raw honey, up to a tablespoon, usually a couple of teaspoons. And I'm not a fan of fructose, I'm not a fan of sugar in general, but raw honey raises something called glycogen in your liver, which builds up fuel for your brain when you're sleeping. You're gonna have to try this, but if you do this and you wake up the next morning and you're like, I haven't felt this good in a long time, then you nailed it and you should play with that some more. I wish I could tell you this one thing is gonna work for you. I can't do that because I don't know your individual biochemistry, but you have the best detector ever. And that detector is how you feel when you first open your eyes. So do your experiment at night, wake up in the morning and think about it. And bonus points, if you wanna use a sleep tracking application, you wanna use the Bedit system, you wanna use the Sleep Cycle app on your phone, there's lots of ways you can track your sleep, but how you feel in the morning is the most important thing. Do whatever it takes to feel amazing in the morning, and you'll find that naturally your body just wants less sleep. That's your win.